Okay, so this one we're trying to find the minimum velocity at the top um, for circular motion to be able to continue. We're going to give this a radius of uh, 20 meters. It's a big bucket with water, or maybe it's a ride at Rainbow's End or something. It could be a roller coaster. Um, I've got my previous bucket drawing from here. But we want to find the minimum velocity at the top for circular motion to continue. So uh, the minimum velocity, remember our centripetal force, um, was equal to um, the force due to gravity. That was the only force uh, provided, um, and there's, there's, there's a kind of a weightless moment right at the top, um, because if you're swinging around with your arm, if it's a bucket, you will lose tension, there won't be any tension force, just the force due to gravity will provide the centripetal force to keep it turning. Um, or if you're in the roller coaster, you might get a sense of, uh, like you're going to come off the seat. Um, although I'd say on a roller coaster, they'll deliberately design it um, so that there's extra uh, speed, so that you'll be going faster than the minimum, so that you have that small sense of reassurance with the force at the top. But in any case, um, we've got formulas which we can use for each of these, and we're not just formula bashing, we've got the concepts first, that the centripetal force will be the force due to gravity. So we've got mv squared over r equals mg, and notice here we can cancel out the mass, and that tells us that the mass of the object undergoing vertical circular motion is irrelevant to the velocity required. Okay, the radius is important there. Um, and the, give the planet you're on, I guess, is important. We're after V, so it's V squared equals uh, GR, and therefore V equals square root of GR. And uh, we've given an example of 20 meters here. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 um, meters per second per second, so it's 9.8 times by um, the radius of 20, so that's close to 200. Um, and the square root of close to 200 is, uh, in fact, 14, or pretty close to 14, and that's units of meters per second. Not getting too worried about significant figures and all of that here. Um, 20 is a tricky one, it doesn't really tell you whether it's one significant figure or two, you would generally assume two, two for reasonableness sake. Anyway, that's how you do it.